Well, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> okay, everyone, this is your Black Knight, and I was just watching a quick clip from GTA Men. I said, hey, there's snow in, in San Andreas, and I'm like, really? I mean, to be perfectly honest, at first I thought, wow, there's snow in San Andreas. And I thought, it is April Fool's Day, and even though he says it's not an April Fool, it must be. Now, let's, let's just use the road. We'll slide around here. It must be an April Fool's joke. It can't be an April, you know, so, no. Would you look at this? Thank you, GTA men, for the heads up. Now, I wonder if the other thing he said about Rockstar giving 5% of shark card sales and stuff to a uh, a COVID fund. This room probably is true. He's then he's not not kidding about. It. You gotta like GTA man. You just do. So what can we do here in the snow? Thanks to GTA man. On our lunchy break here as we woo poink. Well, first things first, if I look at my objectives, I've got stuff to resupply. And there's an easy way of doing that now. I really did in the wrong, wrong place. It's interesting I didn't walk in that way. Let's go in the back. It's like the game new. No, no, you, this isn't what you want to do. You don't want to go in through there and have to walk all the way around. A little fist pump there. All right, let's go in here. In the back of the insert coin electro arcade. Just slide it in the slot. Okay, let's move on here. Let's Come on. Here we go. Get me into motorcycle club mode. Now, what were the objectives? Weed farm and counterfeit cash. Those are things I love to do. This is just going to cost us a ton of money just to get daily objectives, but if they're doing that, where am I even going? Come on. If they're doing that, one wonders, is there a double money thing coming up soon? We're kind of due for it. Kind of do. Okay, where are we at here? The weed farm. Well, the weed farm is going to be like a full load when we finally get this. If we reach the boy now. Why can't I select it? Hello? Nothing's working. I'm in a public session. There we go. Resupply. Buy supplies. Blah. Resupply the weed farm and the counterfeit... Counterfeit cash? Okay, that still has a little bit in it, but we can resupply it, I think. Resupply, buy supplies, confirm, if it'll let you do it, then it'll let you do it. Now that will take a long time to do both. Let's see. Oh, I have to switch out from, you can't do both. You can do it from this terminal. But you have to change rules. Let's say I wanted to source some special cargo, which I kind of do, because I, I just did it for a... for a daily yesterday. 
There's something wrong with my mouse. I mean, I do the click. There's a lot of lag on this for some reason. Hello? Finally, there we are. Jewelry. Collection point to your GPS. Make the pickup and bring the goods to the warehouse. Should be straightforward. Okay. Now it's blinking. What was blinking? Was that it's gonna be a trick? If it comes up solid, it's gonna be let's see. Put missiles on just in case. As we fly over the snow. See normally this would be a less interesting thing, but somehow the snow makes it more interesting. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the ones where it gets robbed. Oh, so I got spooked. Okay. The so I got spooked mission is not bad. Because usually nothing horribly else happens and it's still a one-shot deal. You don't have to go back and forth with it. <laughs> it's parked outside our garage, looks like. No. Ah, GTA man, thanks for the heads up. Where the hell is it? There it is. So we get to drive an armored truck in the snow. Interesting side note, gang. Remember, we are in a public session, and I didn't even check to see who's in here, so it could be, we could be alone, we could be surrounded. We have no idea. But we are cruising the snow. How oh, well does an armored car drive in the snow? We shall find out. Dooby dooby doo. Now the last thing on our objectives is uh, compete in a land race, which that we'll put we'll put that in another video. So that'll be a a win on Sunday kind of thing. We'll, I have it in both characters, so that will be effective. This will just start the next CEO in pajamas. A little bit of snow. Probably not going to be a lot of snowy pajamas. But you never know. Since this is April Fool's Day, this is only probably one day of snow. And... Well, it looks like this was done without drama. Just a little bit of snow. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Alright, that was effective. Not going to sell these until it's like a double money thing, but... Still, it's there. Exit the warehouse. So this falls under the heading of let's do the time warp again because I probably change gears to do some some win on Sunday stuff. But we'll be back. We'll be back. It's a classic recover the stolen supplies. I don't even really need this mission. I've only got like a half bar down, but I do want this to max up my popularity. One missile shouldn't destroy the truck. It will annoy them, though. Let's 
Which is kind of what we want. Yeah, don't fire the missile there, it'll go right into the ground. Okay, take cover. They're amazing shots when you consider you can't even see them. Oh, let's need better get better cover here. Good tree. Come on, give me a better cover. This'll work. I don't know how I'm getting hit. Need a better scope. Poke your head out. A little blast damage there. Come on. If we're going to do this, let's do it in a visually interesting manner. Yeah, there's a, there's some of the people are on, but they're behind the truck. There's a guy. Let's snag it up. Snag it up. Seems like you did nothing. Let me go with something a little more. Somebody to the right of the truck. There was somebody to the right of the truck. Now we got... We do have some time limits there. We can't screw around with these people all day long. Sometimes you just have to go in there and shoot them with lasers. But I'm a dog with lasers. We got a brother down. You got a lot of brothers there. Where is this dude? You there with the feet. Looks like you got all your brothers down. Do we drive over him? Yes, of course we do. Of course we do. Here we are in the April Fool's snow. Bringing it on back. It should be really interesting when we have motorcycles chasing us in the snow. AP pistol selected. And the fun begins. Okay, so we're on a, a long, fast drive here. Here they come in. At least one bike's down. <laughs> it looks like both. Now, don't ask me how the heck I was able to shoot them from there, because that's really some physical impossibility crap. But, I'll take it. I'll take it. I am not in this game for reality. No. Not even a little bit. I normally do the time warp again here, but there's snow! Isn't it beautiful? This is beautiful out. Look at this. It's just stunningly pretty. As we drive the beer truck back. Uh, see, you gotta be careful when you're just looking at the, the scenery. 
you to keep keep an idea about what your surroundings are. Flipped it over. Oh, can we get on top of him? <laughs> that was very like out of a movie. <laughs> get the thing spun around, then shoot them. I thought we were gonna actually squish them there, but back to looking at the snow. Isn't the snow pretty? So pretty here on April Fool's Day. April Fools, April Fools, April Fools, April, April. Boink. Oh, that's one of those signs that doesn't fall down. Let's see, you think we've escaped them? You think we got them through enough waves? Because we enjoy the snow. The snow is so rare, I just feel like every, every minute of it needs to be savored. No, I'm not going to take the jump. I don't think that will end well. Or will it? Okay, no one seems to be coming after us, so... Do I take the jump? As long as I can land it on its wheels, nothing bad will happen, right? That's the only thing you have to worry about. It will give us a wonderful view of the snow. Go back on the little evasive and now we're... Come on. We should get a pretty good run coming down the hill here. Enough that we should get at least some height. I don't think we'll make it on top. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna complete the jump. Okay, that, that wasn't considered a successful jump, I grant you. And it truly, truly wasn't, but... It was, as I would like to say, visually interesting. Yes, yes it is. Thoroughly insane. Thoroughly insane, thoroughly insane. Thoroughly insane, thoroughly insane. And that maxes it. Or does it? Because now we've had... Oh, that's the arcade. Okay. Well, at least they know not to mess with us anymore. Maybe that will bring in the cool kids. Those cool kids. They're a thing. 100% popularity. It's amazing. It's, here it is, April. This was a good idea.
And you know, I'm from Pennsylvania. We've, we've seen weather like this in April. Not very often, but it does happen. Back when I was in high school, I think we had snow in May. Again, not very often. But it's a thing. I really should have the, the missiles uh, selected in case they pick up a tracker, but eh. We'll have more than enough opportunities. We So much snow. It's so pretty. Where's the bunker? Ah, here we are. that a little bit. Ooh! Sumo? Who's playing Sumo? I mean, I mean that guy obviously, but Sumo? Good luck with that. Snow. I'm in shorts. It's snowing. <laughs> Hey, and this is ready to go. Well, that's a thing. We need to change uh, change a few things up here. I did not know that this was ready to rock the house. Let me get into a public session. All right, so here we go. Who's in? Who is in? We got the Radio 1981, who is all prepared to deal with the pandemic. Okay. Zom Slashy. Blue Neck 445, who looks just like Ringo Starr. Dominator No Cap. There you go. And Skeety Skeet. Oh, I think I think I think I can work with this crew. Let's see how this goes. Let's make sure one more time. The thing I'll give you the audio. That's a thing. Register. Make me a CEO. Okay, now to get the daily, what we need is to do this. Resupply, boing. That's a daily. Won't happen until the stuff comes in, but sell the stock. To make the monies, we gonna make a money, honey. Believe me, you do not want to make this handover face to face. <sighs> not with these buyers. Get in a dune buggy and make the dead drops quick as you can, or they're gonna get pissed. Okay, just get off the phone. Let me get the map going. These people are one, two, three, four. Okay, I think that's probably. And then the fifth one will be bailing out of there, so let's do it that way. Alright, well a dune buggy mission would normally be really grinding, and it is only a, still a little bit grinding. Really? You're the one who came after me, I'm just going to run you over. I only run you over a little bit, and don't bitch. But now we get to do buggy in the snow. Snow buggy is up. We went the wrong way. Through the trees with the snow buggy. Snow buggy. Everything's more interesting in snow. We got the snow. Snow buggy. Everything's more interesting in snow. Oh. You got the snow sliding up the hill. Turn around, Bill. Let's go. Who's Bill? Okay. <laughs> it had to rhyme. Now bring me that duck. All right, let's go around here. No, you know, we're not going to really have 
like a combat situation until we break the first drop. We know that. That's a thing. Now, how bad are these locations? Sometimes they're easy to get to, sometimes not. We almost snuck it through there, that's... The key to this mission is really, if you really want to think about it, is it's a racing mission. Because you have to deliver these things as fast as possible, because you're not given a lot of time. As far as, you know... Time per distance, this is going to be a close thing. I think this runs through here. Actually, in, in this neighbor, I think it's actually in a, in a, a season of C Street Hawk. I think they do a, a hyper thrust through this neighborhood. Something very similar. Oh dear, let me hit them buttes. Okay, let's Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patrick Sheehan with an update. First, on behalf of the district, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to all of the essential workers who are out there and on the front lines helping to keep everyone safe and healthy. From our healthcare workers, emergency personnel, to the grocery and food industries, and anyone else in between, our thoughts are with you. As you know, Governor Wolf has ordered the continued closure of schools throughout Pennsylvania until further notice. Because of this extended closure announcement, we will be revising our continuity of education plans. As I had announced previously, these plans would take different forms depending upon the circumstances. Following PDE guidance, we have distributed materials and resources to all students in an effort to provide continued review and enrichment during the initial closure period which was to April 9th of 2020. The next phase of our plan will involve further educational opportunities via distance learning. We will be announcing the details of this next phase in the coming days, so please stay tuned for further announcement. As a reminder, grab-and-go meals are available for any Mid-Valley student Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to noon at the Elementary Center Bus Circle. This will include next Friday, April 10th, and Monday, April 13th. As always, your cooperation, support, and patience are greatly appreciated. Thank you and be well. And there you have that. There's a bit of history for you. Again, some extremely, extremely strange times. Oh, hold on a second. Eh, wife was interrupting me, but... Okay, this is usually causes a fail. Because if you get killed at all, it slows you down so badly. And if you miss with this, I need some machine gun action here. Get out of my face, get out of my face. 
Where is everybody else? Somebody here, you could die. Someone's behind me here. You can die too. Get back to the the location. We gotta move. You can't you can't lose too much time on this, otherwise it's really detrimental. We got another wave coming. Look at that. Mines, 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 mines. Normally the snow would work for me. It just just so happened that I got wedged between the truck and the uh, and the telephone pole, and the guy point blanked me in the face. That that happens every third or fourth one, probably. It's just I'm still laying mines down, but now we have really got to move because that's that puts a lot of time pressure on. I had to. My wife came in. She's like, "What's going on? What's going on to school?" I'm like, "Oh, this is what's going on. Nothing really new. School's closed, and it's not like that's really nice news. I mean, they're doing extremely good things in the district." Um, technically speaking, um, my son graduated last year, but he's, uh, still in the, I think the, ph the phone number's still in the, uh, in the books. So we still get stuff like that. Oh, dear. Come on, drop a mine. We're getting some serious lag there. Lag. I wonder if this is messing with my voice. Come on. I think. Other than this, that that was slow. Oh, that actually that actually did work. Okay. Here we have to find. There's a route. Oh, I gotta stop it. Okay. The nice view. Last one. Get over here. This time we're just going to take the road as much as we can. Six minutes. I want to get... We've got two miles. This is not going to go well. We're going to run out of time, I think, unless I'm really quick. You get killed once. You get They take you out once. It's pretty much a fail. I mean, in theory, I should get most of the money for this, but usually it just says, you know, it glitches out. And go on counter to where I think we should go, but we're going to follow it because I think I think this will end up faster in the long run if we get over here and then get on the main highway and just take these the highway as fast as we can. And if the last location is close enough, then we might still pull this off. But it's going to it's going to be close. I didn't get too delayed there. That wasn't too bad. Come on. Come on, peoples. Yeah, I probably could have gotten around that quicker, but I was getting completely distracted in three different ways here, so that was... Okay, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get a move on. We got less than five minutes. I would usually like to have at least the five minutes for the last run, but... We're just going to have to live with whatever we got and see if we can speed run this. The good news is I don't have to stop the map. Get out of the way, you... Ugh. Through? Yes, we can do that. Cross-cut everything. Oh, see, yeah, the snow took us out there a little bit. There we are. Four minutes, maybe. Okay. We've got... It's not too bad. We might, if we can do this quickly enough, hammer down, we might still pull it off. But there's a chance. Cut across here. That saved us a little time. Half a mile in three minutes should be doable. Of course, and we gotta leave the area. I've never not left the area. Come on, come on, come on. Ow. Get pissy with me, why don't you? 
and down and okay I think it's just around yes 319 all right here we go secured leave the area let us not screw around give me the power of the magic buzzard buzzard may Come on, come on, come on, come on. We want, we got two minutes, 52. Power it out over the water. Delivered. Objective complete, resupply the bunker. Okay, so here we are at Q26.4 million, 26.5 million, basically. down a little bit from those other resupplies. Let's wait for the congratulatory tones. Looks like you sold out. To the right people, too. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. And then we'll get the, the next one. The last objective will be for... Oh, there's some... We can do the bull shark testosterone thing. Let's do that. And then the last one will be for another video. Bang. Secure the abilities. Abilities. Bull shark may. Bang. There you go. And we'll be back. After this, I don't even know which character because we'll be doing other things. Some there's be some racing going on, obviously, and that's that's a win on Sunday kind of thing. So let's do the time warp again. And, and discuss that uh, and make sure that they get what they need. I, I guess if there's if there's a concern, uh, then I would contact if possible the uh, uh, or even contact. How you doing?
I know. Okay, um, um, steal the weapons. Where are the weapons? The weapons are there. I go to steal the weapons. It tells me steal the weapons. I'm losing $500 every time I get in here. There's something. I can't kill the weapons. I can't keep the weapons. Let's uh, let's go back down. Is there somebody I just they didn't kill? Is that it? 
If you escape with the weapons, that's all you need to do. You don't need to kill everybody. I mean, I got nine minutes. I can go back and forth in nine minutes. I have to go back and shoot somebody. What's the glitch? I mean, it's no great loss if I don't get these, but I mean... Why is it constantly saying minus 500? I don't understand. It's one of the reasons that's a, that's a good... Uh, A good location. Can I pull this through the front? Um, okay, anybody else still here? Um, you're screaming. They're screaming. Steal the weapons. It's not another car, right? Well, why don't you take it? It's broken. Somehow it thinks this is just a regular car. It doesn't know the weapons are here, and yet it knows the weapons are here, and that's just maddening. Oh well, at least we get to drive around in an alley. I gotta get me one of these. Especially an indestructible alley like this one. You'll notice it takes no damage. I had to have the mic muted there for a little while for background noise, but still. We are cruising along here. We just, just cruising around in the snow. I mean, it's never going to be a, a a race car, but it is certainly a cool little car. Hi, Ellie. Well, you can look backwards like that when you're pretty much indestructible. See? No dance. And you can't do it anyway. I can go inside. That's just tragic. It's just so tragic. Alright, this is a broken session. Let us... Try some here. Uh, this isn't going to save the car, but at least we'll go back to normal. Okay. I went to, um, just to exit out, and this is, I guess Michael didn't pay his light bill? What the ever loving, weird, let's see if anything comes up. Okay, we're losing customers to Bahama Mamas when we beat them on music atmosphere and general insanity take out those idiot supply trucks and let's see if our customers don't come back here all right I think the way the right way to do this is let's let's use the magic of the CEO that's what we'll do magic wizard the missiles aren't as good as the uh, as a Delexo. Which I think I still have to get off the insurance, but the speed is definitely an improvement. I 
And the missiles are good enough, uh, usually. Um, hello. Who's shooting at me? Finally got the right angle on, good. That was weird, I couldn't track a truck. Couldn't track a beer truck, that's... That's pretty indicting. At least it, this will give us a nice view of the snow. The April Fool snow. Isn't it pretty? Looks like he's got cover. Yeah, right angle. That was practically an optical shot. <laughs> Just... Oh dear, what was all that about? Whoo! Signal jamma! <laughs> Remember that one. Oh, that's a tricky one to find. Signal Mamma Jamma. I have a feeling that's how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to like make notes and then go back with Rusty Jack. I'm just going to, as I do stuff, as I play both characters here, come across things. Come on. Over the top. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. The choppers are always very, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? It's deceiving because you don't think you're going very fast, but you're actually going rather quick because you're still up in the air. Come on, lock them up. Lock them up. Definitely going for two missiles for every uh, attack this time. Any jammers? No. Need some altitude. We can get this last one in the next 15 minutes. Jammers? Any jammers? Jammy, 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 whammy? Mm, maybe not. Alright, let's just go. That looks like one. Is that, is that just a light? Where did I see that? Ah, it's just, that's just a sign on the building. Okay. See, there it is. Right there. No jammy whammies. No, no pajama whammies. Lots of lag, though. Get ready to feel popular.
What's happening now? Where's the phone? All right, we've got that Bahama Mama's business. Now let's hope they don't all come here wearing Hawaiian shirts and sandals. I think it's time to take a break. We definitely have some graphical glitches going on. Okay, that's way too low. Come on, where is the boat? It should be right up there. Off in the snowy fog. Not really where I want it. Let's just try and get that back down here. Talk to the captain. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay, don't land on the other helicopter. Go for the green. Okay, don't land on the no. Just come on, bring it back. A little bit too much momentum there. Okay, close enough. Um, I wouldn't stay here over long. <clears throat> Get the other end of the boat. Other end of the boat. Do you want one to get in? Now, is this where you get into the... No, it's, this is where the living... Oh, no, here we are. Twenty-five grand. Well, that would put it near the bunker. Whenever you're ready. Vespucci Beach. Pacific Bluffs. Oh, because the closest to the thing with the Pacific Bluffs it might be. Nice to have it somewhere mid between the two locations. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay. At least, does that mean the helicopter is no longer crashed on the front? Okay, we don't need to... There's one helicopter. Where's the... What happened to the other one? And it's gone. Alrighty then. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to... I'm going to close the game out, come back later. We'll do more CEO stuff in a bit. We have to. It's snowing. In April. The blimp. Oh, microphone. Blink. I'm not going to spend too much time recording this mission because obviously when you get there and you fire the music up, then it becomes a copyright problem. But here it is in the snow. Snow. Actually, yeah, you know, this is this is great for that. So it's snow, 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 snow. All right, let's do the time warp again. So much yellow, so much white. It's almost like the rest of it's in black and white, and the, the, just the blimp has been highlighted. It's funky. Okay, then this happened. I 
I went to slide the, the blimp to the right a little bit and I hit F. Um, yeah. I don't know what this phone call will be. Did we increase the popularity? Not good, my friend. Not good at all. That's going to be as positive for us as an outbreak of norovirus. Try harder next time. That seems highly insensitive in the current time frame. Wow. Wow. Um. Yeah, that's... Wow. Let's do the time warp again. No popularity for that. That's all. Absolutely. Uh, now we're in a public session, aren't we? Yep. Public, that's... Yeah. Let's, I think it's popular enough. Let's, let's switch gears here. Okay. So now we're, we've switched over to the other character. We're going to head over to the diamond. Try to win a car. It is Wednesday. This will be our last attempt to win this particular car. So we're heading on over. We'll see what I wonder what tomorrow is going to bring. Is tomorrow going to bring Oh I have no idea. A new DLC. Perhaps the uh, the, the open wheeled track stuff will come to the workshop. Or perhaps you know, just a regular old event week, you know? We'll It'll be a biker week or something. They're due for a biker week. So I'm always rooting more for a bunker week. Hopefully not a smuggler week. Smuggler stuff's painful. Especially if you're solo. Alright. Let's get our winning on. Trying to win. Trying to win. Trying to win, trying to win, trying to win. The last chance on this bimmer. I want to go home with it. I think it. I think it'd go well with his overall style. Look, like his overall winning ways. Spin the wheel. Car went by. Come on, come on, mystery. What's our mystery? 5,000 chips. Wow. 5,000. No car. Oh, well. I guess 5,000 chips is better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Not as good as a bimmer, but better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Well, thanks, Bryony. That's awfully nice of you. I haven't talked to Bryony in a while. Bryony. Hello, there we are. Where are we going on? How do we get out of here? Okay, gang, so here's the dealio. I had planned on doing a whole bunch of CEO and pajama stuff this weekend. Just trying to grind up some money and do some things. But it's Thursday. And guess what? It's triple money on Arena Wars stuff. So, probably going to shift the focus there. This is probably a long enough video anyway. Um, but just to, just to cap this one off, I think it is time we'll do a little bit of a garage tour. And let's see if we have a, a, a space to put a Sasquatch. Don't they get their own special spaces? I think a Sasquatch does. Doesn't it get like one of the... Well, here's a space over here anyway. So we've got we've got something there. Here's the dealio. There's massive discounts going. If we buy an upgradable vehicle. Which one is it? Oh, here we go. The rat truck. Now the rat truck, who cares? That's that's like chump change. We're not we're not worried about 37k at this point. Come on, it's uh, right there. 
there are there's some other vehicles going on here sale on the Cerberus from 2.9 million and I've got the trade price on this one 700 K now that is a largely useless vehicle do I have to trade on all of them no I don't I have the buy it now 900 K for this one net but I have the trade price 700 K for even if it's a useless vehicle it's a silly vehicle Oh, let's get it. Why not? Let's, let's, you know, we're making all this money. Let's spend some money. Definitely dump it in the, the arena workshop. Peppy, the only place to go. I think that has one of the special kind of things here. Go back to the homepage. There is, a, you know, a sale on the Apocalypse ZR80. All the, all the ZR380s. They're all half a mil. I may do that at some point. Which way do we want to go, though? See, I'd have to come up with what kind I want to get. Do I want to do... I already have a spacey one on the other side, and this is Rusty Jack. Do we want to just get just go for it and get ourselves a battle-worn, rusty apocalypse? I don't like the way they handle, for the most part, but I mean, it is. Instead of $2 million, and you guys know I am a sucker. An absolute sucker for a sale. It's just just how I am. Let's, let's take a look first at how much room we have here. Because we're going to be spending some cashola. Do, do, do. Where's that? Where's the rusty uh, dealio going to end up? Right here? Poof? Is he going to go poof right there? Let's see. Because I have to show you the deal on the Sasquatch. There it is. Interesting. This nice red truck. We're gonna E to modify. We make it monster, okay? Yes, we make it monster. Upgrade arena war. Look at the deal on this. The apocalypse only six hundred and twelve. That is a massive. I think it's sixty percent off. Now, we've all, you know, I already have an apocalypse Sasquatch on the other account. That's the Dollar General. So here, I've always kind of wanted a future shot. Let's do it to it. <laughs> Shit from the future. There you go. That's what we want. And, you know, brakes. We need brakes. We're going to do this up. Um, let's see. Shunt boost? No. Let's... I've never gotten a good use out of this, the, the slidey slidey kind of thing. Like 400k. You people are just evil. Front bumpers. Uh, we always want to do. Well, that's just the bumpers. Okay, that's that's a style point. Um, kind of like the generalized look of it overall here. That's rear bumpers. Medium armored rear. We've actually unlocked the medium, and that just puts those cro ugly crossbars on. Let's, uh... Let's do that. It's a little blast thing on there. Bodywork. Armor plating. Light. Reinforced. Heavy. I recall with heavy armor playing, I think you're fairly well bulletproof in there. I don't think they can shoot you. Okay, and that engine, obviously rev it up. Exhaust. You have the stock exhaust, which I kind of like. The Mohawk exhaust. The dual Mohawks. I kind of like the trumpets. Let's, let's stick with the trumpets. For right now. Hood. Lightly armored. Medium. I think yeah, medium armored hood. That's good. Horn.
There you go. It makes no sense whatsoever. Headlights. Blue lights. Let's go with blue lights. It doesn't have any. You can't put any other livery. Okay. HK is stuck. Got none. Enema. It's an actual livery called Enema. Let's hold off on the livery for a moment when we do this. The name we're going to get to once we get done with the primary color. Metallic. Where are we in the blues? We're going to stick with the whole Spartan theme here. There you go. Let's go with metallic blue. Secondary color. Metallic. Seven pink. No. Well, that does look good. Oh, we're not doing that now. We're going with... Do, do, do. Ice white. Accent color. Do, 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 do. Also ice white. White on white. That's pretty much as mid valley as you're going to get with a battle bot kind of. Alright. Transmission. Make it go faster. Turbo. Make it go faster. Vertical jump. Give it to me, yo. The wheels, we're leaving alone. Their wheels are too. Let's see. Tires, tire enhancements. They're already bulletproof. Tire smoke. Give me blue tire smoke. That's the whole point is the tires. You gotta go with the uh, windows. Now we're gonna leave them clear. You can't see out of them anyway. Ram weapon. Believe it or not, none is what I want to go with. Because if you're uh, if you can get on top of somebody with this truck, guess what? It just kills them. So that is that is a key thing. I mean the fist there you have the love fist the, the turbo love fist. Funny looking, not good to have scoops. It's fist. They don't have the, the big spinning blade, so you're better off going none and just doing the monster uh, truck crush people. Kinetic grenade launchers, obviously. Proximity mine. Kinetic spike EMP. I think EMP is a way to go here. I mean, obviously I'm into this for three million now. But I mean, the truck's on sale and I've wanted one. This is something I'd play. I even talked about just getting one of these just recently. So the name... Give me a Spartan kind of theme name. Give me a moment. Got it. That's pretty badass. It is. It is. This is Sparta. Oh goodness, here we are. Check this out. LJT here. Uh, you heard the expression, money doesn't grow on trees? Yeah, everybody has. No. The Cerberus is here. Now, I don't really have a use for it. This is a just to have. So I don't need to, to fix this one up entirely right now. Now, you know, that'll be a thing for another video. Um, let me check and find out where I can park some other stuff. This bike. That's a big wheeled racer. I don't think that's uh, we're going to do anything with that. Okay, there's like one slot in B1. There's a couple slots here in B2. I don't yet own a ZR380. Let's take advantage of that. Let's do it. I've been doing all this, making all this money. We have the buy it now. 
Or now we don't. We don't have a thing. We've got a shiny, fancy, dancy one with lasers in the other on the other account. The other account. The other uh, character. I don't like any of the nightmare ones. They really just don't call to me. I don't know why. I mean, they're kind of cool. I mean, I really. But it just doesn't. This is Rusty Jack. Let's get him. A rusty ZR380. And again, I don't really need to do anything with it because I'm not going to race this one. Necess necessarily. Maybe when we... I, right now, I just want to take advantage of the sale. You know what? Let's put it in B1. There's just one slot in B1. There's two in B2. So we'll leave two in B2. And then I have to wonder, wonder well, where is... You know, Again. A little mini guitar, uh, guitar, mini garage tour. Guitar tour would be nice too. I have some of these. I don't even know if these things have been fully upgraded here. What about my neon? We haven't done anything stylistically with it. And, you know, stylistically, it's engines up. It's got the plate. It's got the, the see you later plate. I think that's usually Let's see suspension stock. Also, it doesn't have because it's an electric and there's no trans. All right, no turbo and no livery. No, yeah, I guess you can't do much with that. I didn't want to exit that. Oh, that was from B2, right? Alrighty. So at least I can race the Neon if it comes up. I couldn't remember if it was ready or not. I think everything else is up to speed. Boop. Go to B1. hasn't arrived yet because obvious delays. There you go. I wonder why even the rusty ones have these yellow wheels. Like, that's like a thing. Alright, we'll modify it. What the heck. Brakes up. Boost. You know, it's gotta be, this is gonna be another millions and millions of dollars. The only thing we're gonna do because the gaminers is the wheel. Wheel type, off-road, stock rims. No spec steelies, rock crawlers. I think the meal, the, the mill, meal. And then we go back out. Wheel color. Is there like I have black steel? Uh, probably anthracite black, black steel. Let's go black steel for right now. Tires, need them. Looks more grim that way. Eventually. Let's let's let it rev, rev, let's let the let, blah, 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 blah. let the rest of it go because we're just gonna want to fix the look for a little while. That's a lot of money, and again, it, I'm not real fond of racing it, so I'm probably just gonna let that be there as something to have. So that's it to have. That still hasn't been up done, hasn't been done yet. So many project cars, you know. Now, is this Yosemite? Is this ready to roll? I should really race this more often. Is it armored up? Is it engined up? Is it turboed up? 
Yeah, okay, this is ready to roll. I mean, the Yosemite is one of the, uh, one of the faster muscle cars, and, you know, the fact it kind of sits here, I forget that it's even there. So many cars. As things have to get done. Uh, let's see here now. Yo, we might want to do. Don't forget to bring me some cars on the car list. Kiss my ass. Okay, let us briefly here while we're doing this. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do before we swap character? We're going to not in this video. We're gonna swap. What you're gonna see is me swapping characters over and then getting a couple things for for my main character here. But in the short term, let me check that time. Yeah, there's no time to do another thing I was gonna do. We're gonna do, we're gonna do that right now. I had plans. I had thoughts. They're different thoughts now. So. At some point, I'd like to get an Issy for that guy, but that is going to be expensive. The Issy's... I mean, the main problem with these Arena War things is, like, will I make back $3 million on that truck? No! No! This is... The, the Arena War Triple Money Week is going to be, you know, a net loss. I'm just doing this because I enjoy doing it. The only good news is, is that I will spend enough time playing Arena Wars that I'll be able to sell off my nightclub, and then I'll be make There I'll make... You see, the nightclub and the bunker. That's where you make your money back. So there will be some CEO and pajama stuff coming up as things go on. But not not grinding it, trying to keep the computer healthy and alive. Had a scare where it was starting to just go black on me. I thought the the video card was dying. And it may be. So I've got I'm pricing up a replacement video card, but I want to hold off. You know, you don't want to be buying video cards at a time when you may need, you know money for food or something or hell you know when you know you're in the middle of a global pandemic it's not time to splurge on random pc upgrades so we're just gonna see how that goes obviously i want to keep doing things while i'm stuck inside for a global pandemic so, i mean that's the other thing too oh great again i leave this guy alone He's obviously in the ladies' room. I forget. Do we have, do we have unisex? Uh, yeah, it's a unisex bathroom kind of thing. Okay, so everyone's just... It oh, it's going. I don't know where, but it's going. Let's do the time warp again. It's a little bit of teleportation here. Set to the Maze Bank Arena. Going to another session. Close crew. And then watch it die. Okay, here we go. We're finally here. Okay, I've already got the Z380, which is on sale. And I've already got the Sasquatch, which is on sale. That leaves. Of course, major sales going on in the house. Okay, nothing else here, right? The Cerberus. Now, here I don't have the, the Buy It Now on that one. Don't have the Buy It Now on that one. So it's it's just a matter of it's another 200k above above and beyond. But I think the future shock green spewing less than a million for the arena workshop. Toss it here, cause it's got its own parking spot. And I think. How you doing? Uh, listen. No. Well, I think this should be another lemon car. Another. Because it is a lemon. I mean, you do not want to use a Cerberus in any kind of competition whatsoever. This is for driving around town as the Lemonade Man. Let's, uh, style the Lemonade Man. The Lemonade Man needs a vehicle of chaos. Lemon-flavored chaos. And that's what we're going to have in about, what, two minutes? I forget how long it takes to teleport a vehicle in. All right, we'll give it some time. There it is. Now, let us take a moment in, in the shaded look of the lemon just to appreciate 
the majesty here of what will soon be the lemonade tanker. What are we doing? What we do every day. Okay, let's see. We need brakes. Boost. I'm not doing the boost on it just yet. That's expensive as all heck. Rear bumpers. We're going for the style. That looks like it's going to get caught on stuff. Let's just put... I, li I like the, the minimalist ram bars on there. Bodywork. Decorations. Panel details, crane pipes, hedgehog. The hedgehog! I like the crane pipes. Spikes, body spikes. I've never been a big fan of, fan of, fan of, fan of, okay. armor plating, light armor plating, just to give it a detail, reinforced armor, heavy armor. If you're going to go heavy armor, oh my goodness, how can we not? Then you almost have to go for the spikes. Engine, it's going to need a bigger engine. Exhaust, stock exhaust. Metered exhaust. can't even spin this thing around to see what I'm doing. Twin shafts. Piped cubed. Pronged competition exhaust. That will look good when we hit the boost. Let's use competition exhaust. Grill. But yeah, the piped cross is just kind of working for me. Well, that's that's the riot bars are also kind of nice. The hood. The juggernaut hood looks like it fits the most. Headlights. Yellow. Golden shower. Yeah, well, let's wait. Let's hold off on that until we get the, the library. Okay, first of all, Anima. We have to go with Anima, don't you think? <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, no. I, I Usually, with livery, we go with none. We clean it up. I'm going to get to respray. Respray is where the magic's going to happen. Are you ready for this? Primary color. Metallic. Where is the yellow? Yellow. Race yellow. That's a pretty dim yellow. Do yellow, race yellow. That's not a very yellow thing at all. Race yellow. Maybe we need a pearlescent on this puppy. Where's the ice white? The ice white will brighten it up a little bit. Secondary color is, of course, going to be also ice white. Because it is a lemonade mobile. Accent color, also ice white. Or, let's see, let's look at that. There's not much in the way of accent. This does seem to accent it nicely. Transmission, give us one. Turbo, give us one. Vertical jump, I, I think we're going to hold off on that. Maybe we'll unlock it somewhere on the wheels. Tire enhance, it's already got bulletproof. Tire smoke, yellow. Weapons, ram weapon. This is going to be largely a style point. One does like the choo-choo train effect. I mean, this probably fits better with the overall theme. Spikes and this and that. I mean, the light scoop is not bad, really. Kind of protects the engine a bit. The heavy ra- ooh! 
<laughs> There's something very warped about that. I mean, look at look at the poor designers. If you smash into something, what happens is the spikes go into your own motor. I, I can't I can't abide by that. This is large ram ram. Can't remember what was it to toss stuff better. Was it the scoops or the ram? Let's go two two chain for right now. It's an expensive proxmine EMP secondary passenger flamethrower. Sure, we're already below twenty million. We might as well give it the boost. And the vertical jump. Where is it? Max vertical jump. It's done. The lemonade vehicle. Exit the arena. The lemonade man has a new ride. I have no proper use for this. Award <laughs> unstoppable. <laughs> What's the unstoppable award? Because the lemonade man is that. I don't know that it's as good as the um, the Phantom Wedge. Choo choo! But it is darn fine as far as Okay, at some point, for as bad as idea as this is, I am gonna have to take this into not not a, a battle kind of situation, but you know maybe a, a game of wreck it. Let's take this around to the. It will be slow, but it will be so in the way. And it is such a huge target. It'll just get eaten apart. It'll get totally ripped up. But yeah it's more like a power wheelie the the vertical boot jump <laughs> and goomba stomp the and we goomba stomp cars time it <laughs> Way over them, okay. Well, if you can go over them, and you have to, you have to, have to, you have to be a little bit behind them to properly goomba stomp. We'll do it a little bit behind. You ready? Goomba stomp. Goomba stomp. <laughs> okay. I think we more scooped into him. I want to land on top. Goomba. Over them. Okay, too far. Okay, this truck. Surely we can Goomba stomp a truck. Goomba stomp! <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> All right. So the Cerberus is not a practical or useful vehicle. I can't imagine. Let's see. We have the flamethrower. For no reason. No, no, please, no. I'm a nice person. Blah! Doesn't do much. It's more like I just come up behind you and go. Blah! And prepare. Goomba stomp. But well, we went over. We we jumped a truck. <laughs> How much traffic can we back up here? <laughs> got it balanced! I've got it balanced! Ooh.
Oh, there you have it, folks. I think we have made it completely pointless. I think, how much have I gone through here? Like six million dollars? One ill-planned, ill-thought-out adventure. That's at least like a week. You don't need that anymore, do you? Don't even turn your back this way. Just drive down the road. It looks cool, but you can't look where you're going, so that's to get the effect. You can't, you know. Toast it. There we go. I wonder how fast this thing will go. The, the, the flame doesn't seem to do anything. You think, you know. Like, he, didn't, he didn't really even catch fire. Oh, the police are thinking I'm, into, I'm causing too many problems. That's a truck driver. He's hung on to it. Okay. Can you off road? I have the power of the lemonade. I mean, I have killed dozens of these. They're useless in Arena War, but. I did. Well, here's here's this thing gets the award for the thing I did not know I wanted a lot. Lemonade. We're gonna have to go in at some point. We're gonna have to go into free mode and just cruise around in the lemonade machine and just drive into things. Not necessarily kill anybody, but just do stuff like this and make people go WTF. And now I know what it is I must do. Come on. The boost definitely helps on acceleration. Dun 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 new. No. Denied. Okay, but maybe not. It's time to go to the casino! I forget, do these have the spikes that will kill you if you walk into them? Like, is it... Are they deadly spikes? Some of them, some of them will kill you if you walk into them. You spike me! No? Maybe not. Hey, listen, that's a benefit. I don't really want people just to die of walking into my truck. Not that kind of guy, but you know... Here we are, we're... <laughs> At the casino, it's lemonade time. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight, the Lemonade Man. <laughs> Have a great night. And there is an objective. Objective complete. What what are my objectives? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. That's gonna be Arena Wars. Get a headshot with a double action revolver. We'll do that off camera. That's just me. Oh here, you know what we'll do? Let's uh first of all, let's lose our uh, style here because you can't see properly with the Here is we'll do our classic 360 view of the featured vehicle. I want to win this one. That is a beautiful, beautiful uh, rendition here of the uh, Tempesta. That's a nice set of wheels. 
If I win that, then I'll, I'll, I'll sell whatever one I've got. Cash out. And then get this puppy. Because that, that looks nice. Although, maybe I'll keep them both. Because this one, you, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be putting a uh, spoiler on. So this one just be, this is just for a look. So I'd keep both my, I'll just have three Tempestas anyway. But that's a, that's a good looking Tempesta. Tempesta! It's the friendlies in Torno. Friendly for you. Tempesta. Oh, for cruising down the highway. Impressing your girl. I'm guessing if you're cruising around in a Tempesta, you're, this is the standard that your girl has probably come to expect anyway. So it's not a lot of impressing kind of things going on there. The only way you can actually impress someone is if, like, you really don't have it. You go, you rent one, and then you... You show up as a surprise. Ooh, how did you get this? Oh, this is my new set of wheels. Which, truly, if, if the girl knows you are, and you're like, yeah, right. How, what, is it a rental? Yeah, yeah, it's a rental. Okay, let's go have a good time. And that's how you impress them. Because you're, you're willing to go out there and have a good time, and I don't know where I'm going with this. This is... Are we done here? I think we're done here. Yep. It is pretty, though. I just want to look at it. Huzzah. Did that guy just like trip falling down the, 